What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, guys. In today's video, I'm going to be hopping into practice mode. I'm going to pick a random team, and I'm going to try my best to read the defense to show that it can be done with any playbook, not just the veer and shoot. But before we get into that, guys, I want to give a shout out to today's video sponsor. Big shout out to the people over at Gamer Gummies, guys. They sent me a sample to try for you guys, and I've been taking them for the past three to four weeks. And I got to say, guys, the taste is amazing. These gamer gummies are geared towards us gamers because we tend to spend long hours playing games. Might not always get the best nutritional stuff for us, but these mushrooms that they use to comprise these gummies, they not only taste great, but they provide a lot of really great and amazing health benefits, including focus and relaxation for those long playthroughs. They provided me with a discount code for you guys. Use promo code five star of course if you're a five star y'all already get it don't be a point dex to be a five star order you some today try them out and let us know what you think click the link in the description box down below don't be a point dexter guys get out of the portal and become five star by subscribing to the channel guys man i have not been on this game in a while it's been a it's been it's been dang near a week man i my football schedule is is going we've started school so gotta teach classes and make lesson plans and all that kind of stuff man but i'm enjoying the school year so far we actually have a football scrimmage today um actually down here where i live even though i don't work down here so we're gonna go into practice mode all right we're going normal i'm pushing triangle our hawkeyes okay who we going against Florida International. It is what it is. Iowa, I don't even know what playbook Iowa runs. Um, what playbook do they run? It just says Iowa. It doesn't tell the scheme. So we'll get to see that. But you do see it is on Heisman. So I love the veer and shoot. I've been running it in all of my dynasties. I've gotten so much better at running it. I've learned new formations. I've learned uh, new plays, new schemes and techniques and stuff to read the defense and all that kind of stuff. And interestingly, haters are gonna hate. Somebody said that I was I was playing I was using cheese plays, and that I I was cheating. It's like it's, it's crazy. Like in the video, guys, I literally show myself reading the defense and making plays. Like that's what you do in football. So I was like, hey, let's challenge let's challenge myself. How effective can I be using a different playbook? Um, and dudes, it's crazy when you play with a certain playbook using another one, it's like driving a brand new car. You just got to get used to it. So Iowa, they have some single back. They have I form power. Eye, they have the gun. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Let's just do a random play L3 and let's give the defense a random play as well. All right. Now I do want to respot this ball. I don't, I don't know. I always like having it maybe like at the 50 or something like that. We're just going to put it somewhere. Give us some room in case we got some go-go routes. All right. So, of course, we're under center here. Run heavy. Um, I have a four-man surface. Uh, and what that is means on the on either side of the center. See, on the left side of the center, it's a three-man surface. The right side of the center, it's a four-man surface. They have a three-man front, and it looks like they're bringing a the linebacker. This play should be successful off top. I don't need to audible or even run to the other side uh, because I have uh, my four or five guys against their three, four guys. I mean, I could check it to the other side. Then it'd be three against essentially three guys in the box, but those linebackers are backed off. We're just going to run this play right here. I should have followed behind number 70, but his big butt moving a little bit too slow. Got to go and get through that hole, boy. Looks like they're bringing somebody here, but it's fine because we're running the ball. Now, what I like, y'all know me. I see these corners pressing. Let's see if they have a vertical route. Yes, they do. Check, check, check. We finna test out this secondary early. Drop back. Uh, nobody's open right here. Try to put that on the inside. We're going to throw it up and give them a shot. And what that does, even if you incomplete it, guys, even if it's not complete, if they keep pressing, look, they still pressing. They still want to press. We're going to go vertical. All right. It's veer and shoot mentality right here. I also want to check my line. Let's do max protect because I ain't trying to get a sack. Boom, boom, bam. That's just good coverage, man. Great coverage by them. They got a cover two. It's cover two man right there. All right. Looking to hit. I mean, they're telling us that the tight end is the key back. I don't want to go backside, so I want to put that, that tight end to block right there. 
uh what we're looking at here those routes conflict me if i want to hit triangle on this i want to put circle on a post route uh because i want to run those guys out of there does that make sense see that right there run them out of there man don't have them two guys running the same route in the same area i don't know that just bothers me all right three three five stack oh that's what they got going right here right here that is a pass it's a spread defense man we're gonna run it right down their throats pause i don't know if that's a pause moment or not anyway positive yards we gain it we moving the ball okay they're backed off these routes are going to develop a little slow we got one high safety right here play action right here let's see what we got iowa hawkeyes looking for circle can we squeeze it in there nah it's intercepted dang it oh well not used to these non go daddies okay they rolling maybe bringing a guy right there that's fine we don't care uh let's check 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 let's put him on a slant maybe we can run this route right where he was supposed to be and let's make my tight end block just in case they are bringing the blitz. Actually, let's go max protect. I want to protect against the blitz just in case they bring in it. Hopefully, I can hit this. Um, hopefully, I can hit circle right where he's coming from. Let's see. He doesn't blitz. But I do get time enough in the pocket to make that completion. I like that computer can fake blitz. I like that they can show blitz and not blitz. All right. See, they rolling them down. They might be pressing. I have no clue. I should have gave that instead of keeping it. I'm still getting used. I don't run a lot of read option plays, so I'm still getting used to having to press the button for the quarterback to to keep it. I mean, I'm used to him just giving it. So let's see here. Pass play out of the eye formation. I I don't like the looks of this. I don't like the looks of this pass play. Those backers will drop back. I mean, if anything, I'll have is a check down, possibly circle. I personally, with this front that they have, I would check to a run play right here. We're going to go zone weak. Uh, do, 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 do. Yep, let's run it to the weak side. I mean, they spread out like that. We're running down their throats. A 3-3-5 isn't the best run defense against the run. Unless you have an attacking 3-3-5. So now they loaded the box. That corner's backed off. We're not going to bother him. Put this man in motion. Is he even in man? Oh, the whole defense shifts. Well, well you look, he's there. Defense shifts. Can we check to the other side still? Nope. Ah, oh, man. Let's, let's bring him back. Let's get that guy out the box right there. Heck, they in the same spot. I don't even know why they rotate right there. There was really no need to do that. Let's tackle for a loss. Mm -mm 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 -mm. are they coming or are they not that's the risk we're gonna take hut hut come on bro you gotta have better feet than that iowa oh that's yeah i see that man i got my that corners pressing man i gotta take a shot that corners pressing i gotta take a shot give me time to throw let's do max protect and safeties i'm, I'm telling you playing cover two over the top so let's He just ain't got enough speed to get away from that receiver. I need some go daddies out there, man. He need some speed out there at that wide receiver position. I see why people say Iowa's offense isn't that great. This isn't looking good for me, man. Not with Iowa, not with this playbook. Jesus. It feels so different. Come on, corner. You got to take it. See how slow he's running? The fact that the tight end on this play can keep up. Like, I mean, he's on the line. They're both on the line. But the fact that, look at this, the tight end is beating him down the field. I know he kind of got pressed up by the wide receiver, but Jesus. They literally run routes into each other right there. See, they already pressing, they already running, but I already know they got cover two coverage over the top. Those safeties are going to play that. He got him right there. You press, I'm telling you, like 80% of the time, if they're pressing those corners, put those receivers on go routes, especially if you got some go daddies. Play action right here. We're looking to hit the tight end, but it depends on what those linebackers do. I might have to hit my check down. Hut, hut. I didn't even get protection right there. Get it out there. Good completion on the play. This feels so weird, y'all. I do. It feels so weird playing with a different. Okay, we in the power eye. They, they got the whole wide open, baby, and we finna run through it. Follow your blocks. There we go. Tic-tac down the field. It feels so weird. I'm not used to these knick-knack plays. 
I'm used to blowing them up down field right here. All right, let's protect our backside with this tight end right here. I don't want, I don't want no trouble. I'm really looking to hit triangle right here if my receiver can run the corner off. And it depends. Backside, if they bring a blitz from that on circle, then I can hit that. Let's see what they do. They don't bring him. They don't bring him. I got time. He clears the backers. Completion. Good job. O-line protecting on these pass plays. Ooh, we got a little screen action here. They are pressing, so I don't really like that, but we'll see what happens. They may drop back. They kind of do. I get a little block out there. And this one of those deals is like, if I play, if I run that play enough, I see what we're kind of looking at, but it's first time running it. So I don't like verticals whenever the safeties are dropped. Look, look how far off they are. Like, I don't like that. They, they are so far off. You know, by the time they get to those safeties, the, the route's going to be done, Is that if that makes sense. So let's put square. Uh, let's let's run them on a curl route. I don't even know how to do a custom stem. I had I've never used it. Do you hold the button? Yes. Okay. Let's put him on a short curl route right there. Just just hey, attack the toes of that cornerback man and let it fly. Let's see what we got here. Right there. Use my tight end as a blocker. Awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. That worked out well for the people. All right, they're in the 3-3 stack. Looks like they're in tight because those um, the ends aren't outside of my tackles. So they're in a 3-3 tight, 3-3-5 tight. I got a press here by the linebacker, but everybody else has dropped back, so more than likely it's cover three. All right, so with that being said, we're going to put circle on this route. Hopefully I get enough time to, uh, and let's make it shorter. Let's make that route shorter. Let's make that route shorter. I can't make it shorter. Oh, man, that sucks. Anyway, that's what we're looking for. I'm going to run him off, hopefully hold that cornerback at the same time. <gasps> Idea. Idea. Let's put him on the out route. Yeah, let's have them two cross. We'll see who comes open. Oh, man, it almost worked. It almost worked. They definitely did bump into each other right there, man. That's, that's, daggummit. I wish he ran a, a real out route or whatever. Look at that. Look at that. That's what we want right there, man. Quarterback got to put that on the money. It's a rub route. Boom, right there. That worked out to perfection. All right. I don't like these blocking going the route type deals. I mean, the corner's running a fade right here. Clearly with the back, the I mean, the receiver on square. That uh, Let's run it anyway. I'm looking to hit R1 underneath these backers. But if they if they come down, then I'm hitting X over the over behind them. They do drop, hit him underneath. Offense is offense, guys. If you know how to read a defense at the end of the day, it's just processing that information. All right, they're in the tight right here. We have a pass play, but why would I run it? Look at the I mean, why would I pass it? When I got all that space to run the football, guys, like it's so tempting. Let's run it. Let's run it. Let's let's run it. Uh, halfback dive alert smoke. Okay, so we got some RPO action on here as well. Corner comes down. I want to give that. Bam, right there. Give me that three, four, five, six yard gain. I'll take that all day. Same thing. Three, three, five, tight. I'm attacking the safety, but that safety is so deep that's just not gonna work. Let's put R one. Let's run him on a let's put him on an out route. Let's do it. Let's try this again. Let's put him on an out route. We'll put X down the field to hold the safety now. Okay, if these linebackers come down, I'll hit square across like right there behind those backers. If the corner, the corner now has a choice. I'm putting him on a choice. If he plays the the, the out route and the safety takes the tight end, then I can hit circle but if he plays the go route and the safety he's out of position anyway the backers out of position so i'm my 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 force player right here is the corner i'm looking at what the corner does if he stays with that go route i'm hitting the out route if he plays the out route then that safety has a choice but you you notice there's three high safeties so somebody's gonna take the freaking tight end vertical and i don't think it's the linebackers let's see what happens here I could be right. I could be wrong. Right there. He plays the out. He plays a, a flats sort of zone, and that play works out 
to perfection. Perfection. All right, so this is what we did. We had him on the out route. And this is who I was reading right here is the corner right here. Okay, he stays in the flats. So the out route would have ran right into him. All right, the safeties dropped back. So they were in a cover three. And then, bam, my, my receiver was open right there. Linebackers on the play. Uh, one of them came, the other two dropped. So that route, that route could have worked if I had enough time to throw, which I kind of did. Almost the pressure was there, but we read that correctly. Good deal. Good deal. That worked out. That worked out great. Ooh, we got a play action play, and they got the box loaded. This should be a quick hit here. No, it's not quick, but we can still get it off. Get in there. Yes, sir. Completion. That's where that arm strength comes into play right there. Okay, okay. Let's run it. Why not? I mean, they're, they're clearly in a cover, too, but we're going to run it anyway. I don't know if this running back is the best running back they have, but I and by the way, I don't like this playbook. <laughs> I don't like it. All right, same situation, three three five tight. Um, no reason to run a route. No reason for my tight ends to run a route right here. I am going to put pressure, major pressure, using only two receivers. So the corners dropped off. I got my slot running an out route. We're going to take the, the the receiver right here. Let's actually put him on a post. What's a bang eight? What is that? Interesting. No, I want to hold that backside safety, though. So we're going to put him on a post route. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Oh, man, I could run a screen. I didn't know I could run a screen. That's dope. R2, smoke screen. Oh, my gosh. Let's do that. Let's run the smoke screen. And instead of having circle block, which I can't have him block anyway, that's fine. Let's put him on a post. Let's put him on the post. Because now what it's going to do is going to hold the linebacker and the corner. It holds the corner. Works to perfection. Now, I know in a game I'm not going to have all that kind of time to do that. But it's one of those, like, once you know the playbook that you have, then you know your audibles. You know your checks and stuff like that. Does that make sense? Like, when I'm in the beer and shoot, I already know what I want to audible and check to. But this is me just reading a, a defense in slow motion. Very, very slow motion. We got, what, a motion by R1. Some play action right here. I see the read. So am I even able to give this? Let's find out. Play action. Oh, no, no. It's a double pass. <laughs> it was a double pass and I wasn't ready for it. That's all good. Oh, we got some screen action right here. Some RPO action. That corner is backed off. Read the corner. He sits. I want to give that every time. If he sit, if I had a through that, that'd been an interception. At least with the veer and shoot because the receivers are outside the numbers a lot of times. All right. So pass play right here. They want me to hit the tight end underneath, but notice where my other uh they actually that's so weird that they have the the it's in a it, oh man, it is that awkward formation. I have two tight ends. Essentially I have three. He's eligible because the receiver to his side is off the line of scrimmage, so it makes him an eligible receiver. Okay, but you notice where he's gonna run his route is gonna conflict with where my tight end is gonna run his route circle is designed to run those guys out the box so now you're making the force player be the mic the mic who the mic is right here which is really not even the mic uh we're gonna id the mic we're gonna id him as the mic okay because he's the middle of the defense or essentially it's a balanced formation anyway i don't know if i like this I'm going to try to read it. I mean, you got three high safeties right there. I would rather put square on a go route right here and let's read it. So if the backers come down, if this middle backer comes down, I hit that tight end on that little squiggly slanty post chart out. And then I just got a feeling they're going to run into each other. But let's find out. Backers, he doesn't sink. We'll hit that tight end. Still a cool play. Still a cool play. Uh-oh, they press in, but we got two high safeties. But notice how I'm inside of the numbers. And that safety is on the hash, okay? You know we got to check the all goes, baby. You know we got to. Can I widen this tight end out? That would be phenomenal. I can't. Why is his shoes that color? Why does he have those shoes? 
Okay, so widening him out. Let's put him back because the safety actually moved. Oh, I don't want to motion him all the way over there. Check, check, check. Oh my gosh, no, we're going back to the original play. I didn't want to do that. Now they're not pressing anymore. Oh well, we're running down their throats. Get inside of that block. Ah, pick that up, 67. Pick it up. Dang, man, I wanted to run that pass play. I don't know why I checked like that. We got we got a screen right here. This is going to work to perfection because everybody's backed off. You got your block. Oh, they came down on that. Ah, I shouldn't have threw that. If he had a setback, that'd been beautiful. Uh, Heck, let's run it. Let's run it into the shark's mouth. Get outside. Get outside. Good. Good with your slow self. You don't see a lot of speedy running backs in this game. All right. If they are blitzing, the circle should be open right here on the play action. Nope, they drop back, but it's fine. Give it time. Hit it underneath. Completion. I had a guy down deep. I didn't even see that. I didn't think I'd had enough time to throw the ball, actually. Oh, they're pressing us, but they also rolled the safeties. They're rolling them. So are they really pressing? Let's find out. Hit X, come down. Ah, come underneath that. Good coverage over the top, man. That's how you beat the verticals, man. It's the cover two man. The only thing that benefits you with verticals like that in a veer and shoot is because they're so wide, those safeties have to come way, they have to come over way more, okay? This is fun. Let me know what team I should do next. It's, this is, I, I kind of like this series. How effective can I be with another team's offense, not the veer and shoot? All right, so Circle right here is, he's running, darting across the field. They're hoping to clear the right side of the field so that uh, X comes open on this, on this corner route. But I don't like that. They're playing so far back. They're probably in a cover four anyway. So let's put R1 vertical. Let's, he's going to hold the safety. Let's put him on a streak route. He's going to hold the safety. I want him to hold the corner. Okay. Now X should be open unless that backer goes out, which he does. Oh, man. Super, super hops. Super hops. Good play by the defense. Why is this guy's cleats orange and blue? Is that is that a glitch or is that is that? Oh, yeah, it is a glitch. Okay. I don't know why it's doing that. Get that fixed, man. Get that fixed. A little play action right here. I don't like this. They they got three high guys right here. This this play is, is not going to work. It's not going to work. Play action right there. Drop back. Oh, I got to check down. Ah, get it in there. And he still didn't even catch it. Hit him dead in the hands. Hit him dead in the hands. We got some curl action right here, baby. Let's go. Drop back. Let's roll out. Go, 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 go. Run them off, run them off, run them off. Quarterback got more speed than the running back almost. All right, last play here, baby. No, we just giving it right here. We want to run another pass play. With your slow. Ah! Just slow for no reason. Slow for the purpose of being slow. We got another run play right here. Give it. Cut it. Bounce it, stiff arm, get tackled for like a 10-yard game. Well, it was probably like eight, but who's counting? All right, uh-oh, they pressing us, but they still got them two high safeties, man. So, ah, uh, let's see what it do. Yep, safeties drop. Try to get the one-on-one -on -one cover sack right there. We can't end on that. We cannot end on that. We got a read play right here. We're going to give it because he's so far back, he's not going to make the play. Guys, let me know what y'all think, man. What team should I try next? Let me know your playbooks. I will try y'all's offensive playbook schemes. Till next time, y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace.